Ooh, uh, welcome to Dark Dreams Don't Die, Must Die. Um, I played through this already, but apparently my mic had some problems, uh, which basically caused me to not, uh, I, I guess, you know, play the game. Like, basically, I cannot upload that, that footage because of the fact that it was just not very, very good. Um, because the mic was very very scratchy so when I was speaking like it, 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 it would constantly stutter and and all that stuff so it's because of the fact so now that I've tested that my mic is fine I'm gonna go ahead and just assume that everything will be cool so I'm gonna go ahead and do the adventure this is not gonna take 10 minutes uh, sorry about the bird um, it's not gonna take 10 minutes it's, it's gonna take a lot less because i know exactly what to do this game is really awesome because it comes with some of this weird stuff like this one here So uh, I'm going to skip the optional stuff in this one primarily because I've already done it in the other one and I feel that it'll take far too long for me to do that uh, in this one but, uh, but I'll show you the basic premise of it. So majority of the time you're using a, a, you know, a mouse to control you know, your character and then each time this comes up you need to hover your mouse over it uh, so that way you, uh, you get more either. points. Little Peggy. So again, there you go. My name is David Young, former knock with the Boston PD, and now a detective who searches the past. My likes include 100% de agave tequila. My dislikes are mainly drugs. And chewing gum. Now you might be curious to know why he does it. Two and years that's... Ago, someone killed my wife. Since then I've been using every second of my life to solve a case. Using a certain very special power. Yeah, so the reason why he chewed gum is because his wife, little Peggy, chewed gum as well. You can find that indie demo here, so so I'm going to take lollipop which increases my stamina as you can see here. The stamina is needed in order to uh, do certain actions. So in this case you could do this, you could do this. You could actually see what this is but once you click on there it gives you more information about this. My head is full of memories of my wife. And the bullet that robs me of them. What happened in this place on that day? So he got shot in the head, um, which is why he's not able to remember what happened to his life. It's been broken since that day. And also, there are certain actions, so like, when you're turning like a, you know, like a... What's that thing called? <laughs> Valve? Uh, you, you basically have to do the motion to actually o open it, and that's pretty much it. And with that said, the same thing as I mentioned previously, you need to do the motion. So, there you go. A gift is an expression of emotion. The person who sends it wants the feelings to be understood. Sometimes, however, those feelings remain in a slightly different form. I call these forgotten treasures mementos. Mementos, yes. And it has additional momentum stuff where, where you basically read 
for things. Uh, but one of the more curious part about mementos is actually, give me one moment here, is actually the fact that they had this listed. This memento has lost its power. If it doesn't say that, then most likely you can actually con continue going, you know, and searching more about the memento. Okay. So there's the bathtub, which is the last one. Little Peggy. Everyone has their own place to work. A small desk in an office, a molten hot factory, a quiet library, the register in the supermarket, or in the middle of an intersection, in bed, on a golf course, a kitchen. For some, it's the whole town. Because his memories are messed up, like he, he doesn't actually remember what happened, so he's just in, imagining this. From the day she died, this has been my place to work. Okay, so the bathtub scene is done. The next thing I can do is go outside here. results this time either. This case is in the clear. Okay, so uh, like I mentioned before, I'm not gonna go, go through the more optional stuff. You can push things to gain more, more credits there. Um, and on, on the side here, there, there's plenty of things to discover just to give you a perspective on what, what I mean. I don't think I've actually seen this before, so let me just do this really quick. And as you can see, there are medals and stuff here, bronze credits, which give you 30 more and whatnot, you know. Um, there, there there might be more, more stuff here for you to find, and I'll show you that as well. Just give me a second. I could open the door, but it's gonna be like, what am I doing? What am I doing? Exactly. See that? <laughs> Which tells you I know I have played this before. So, uh, in the cabinet up up there, uh, there is... There's another bronze thing there, which I can get, I think. Yeah, it's right there. And I can eat the jelly beans to recover my stamina. And as you you, you could see, you're going to need it in in order to pro progress further in the game. And if you don't have it, like you might be in in trouble, you know. Uh, so with that said, let me. I, I actually don't want to eat the microwave stuff. But you you can a interact with quite a lot of things. There are also letters here that that you can get, which is this one here. And basically, this letter says, "Hey, uh, there is a lot of letters here for you. I've, I've hidden them all over the place, so you should probably go and find them if you want to know more about the story." I'm like, "Okay, all right." So, and kitchen table is where the story stuff is going to be. You you can use the vision here to see all the stuff that you can interact with in in the room here. Apparently you can interact with that, and I haven't done, done that yet, so I think I'm gonna try doing that here. I'm just gonna walk up there. This... I haven't actually used that. Okay, it's to save progress. Well, that's cool. The line is dead. Interesting. And as you can see, there is also um, things that you can wear. So if you, but I don't think that I can change my outfits in this demo. But you could actually change out outfits because you can find them all over the place. Which is one of them is right down here. The Republic hoodie, etc. You you can also watch car cartoons, which is kind of cool. And you'll see it here. But not like full on cartoons, but just tid tidbits of it, you know? Just to show you. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. 
<laughs> hey, Amanda. Do you want to watch too? We're just at the best bit. Little. Notice the cat's eyes and the cat's name. It is Amanda, okay? Uh, the reason why I mentioned it is you'll see soon. Okay, now you might have not noticed, but there's a squirrel right there. And what happens? Because it's standing over there and it's going to give me the option to actually push the squirrel. I could do that, but before that, I'm going to eat some potato chips to gain my stamina back here. Which made it fall. Fantastic. And now I have the option to push and it just ran away. See? They didn't kill the squirrel, which is fantastic. So, uh, in addition to that, you could read books there. Uh, this is one of them. But there are three in this room, to my knowledge. So. Alright. And if you want, you could read through it, which would enhance your experience in playing this game, most likely. What's up, sweetie pie? I have been alright. How about yourself? The park containing the neurotransmitters, blah, 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 blah. So it has like, like some small things like that. In addition to that, it also has, um, it also has more books uh, relating to this place. So uh, this, where the pro protagonist lives, uh, it's actually Boston and he works for poli uh, Boston Police Department and you'll, you'll see that soon. In addition to that, he's, his hobby is uh, to play this instrument. I can't remember the name of it right, right now, so... And you have multiple uh, tracks to choose from. Have you played this game before? No, I have not. This is just the demo of this game. Uh, this game will be out soon. I played through the demo earlier. But my microphone was messed up, so I'm just replaying th through through it for archiving reasons. So I'm gonna put the cat stuff on. I'm gonna close this. Also push this if I want. Yeah. Uh, you also get missions here, which you can actually, you know, to basically tra track the case here. But since I don't have anything. I can't do any anything here, so I'm going to just exit. Alright, it also has funny tidbits as well. Uh, but I'm, I'm going to buy this game as soon as it comes out. So, And uh, I'm just playing through it in hopes that people that have not heard of this game before, uh, hope, hopefully they end up buying it, you know? Alright. So this part is funny. Uh, not yet. It, it will be released on June 5th, I believe. Okay, so once I destroy these... Watch Life his face expression. <laughs> He's like, oh, He didn't like that one. And it looks like these ones are, are random. They're not uh, like, you know, the preset. See that? <laughs> funny, uh, funny expressions. You can also drink coffee if you really want to. Which increases your vision as well. Mm. Okay, so uh, with that said, we're gonna back out of here. And we are going to go towards the main story stuff, which is right over here. Let's drink some tequila before we begin. Uh, I did not. I do want to play it at some point. I have not... Uh spent the time to do it yet but, uh, but I do want I to need after work tequila straight up nothing mixed in
<sighs> the perfect stimulation for my lead-filled brain. As you, you always look so happy drinking that. I wish I could have a drink too. See, she's. Does it really taste that good? She's chewing gum. Maybe I'll just try a little. Oh! <laughs> I think the reason why they are weird is because uh, they're like his games are are not very straightforward when they when you compare it to other games, which is the the reason why. Because like you you looked at how she was chewing gum. And at the start of this, he said that he, he, he doesn't like, you know, chewing gum, but he was chewing gum there. And the reason why is because he misses little, little Peggy. Get what I'm saying? Like, uh, so he puts hints and, and stuff to it. And you'll, you'll see more, more of that with the cat that I introduced earlier, uh, which I'll show you soon. I can drink more of this, but I'm not going, I'm going to move to this one. Did you hear about David's wife? They were just married, too. I heard it was revenge for one of his investigations. Sure sounds like the way they operate. Sending a deadly message. Oh yeah, it, it's a bad game, but it's a funny game, which, which, which is why it's so good, you know? So this should uh, progress the story more here. I have no memories of that day. When I came to, I was already lying in the ICU. The only thing I do remember are the words that little Peggy whispered as she died. I love you. Look for D. Oh, okay. Who is D? Those words keep spinning in my head. Time. With no compelling evidence, the case hit a dead end. I quit the BPD. However, BP under the right circumstances, I now have the capability to solve even a dead end case. BPD stand for Boston Police Department, by the way. I'll do everything in my power to find this. D. I swear I will. And when I do, oh Peggy. Amanda. Okay. There, see? Amanda. Now uh earlier in the scene, you seen that uh Amanda was the cat that little Peggy said, right? And she had uh I believe uh, blue and yellow eyes, I think. So now you'll get you'll get to see that here. Three, two, one. This, this is kind of weird, too. Amanda. She just suddenly started living here one day. She sometimes goes out and gets food for us. And that's something of a lifeline for me, as I don't really go outside. Just who she is, though, well, my memory holds no answers. See? And there you go. And that was Amanda, and that was a cat uh, that we seen earlier.
Yeah, so this game is a bit weird, I guess, in a sense, because it's not really straightforward, but it gives you, like, hints and stuff to actually say, hey, this is what this is about. And then this demo also contains an action scene, which you, which you will see here very, very shortly. Just, just give me a moment. So this is uh, coming from like another story. Get out here now! Ah! Fuck! This shit! Fucking with my fake eye, weren't you? Trying to take it while I was sleeping? Is that your ass or your head? No more messing with this puppy! Ah! Ah! More lightning? Bad! Real bad! Bolt! I said! You're never ever ever gonna get my fake guy! Big night! Bitch! Antonio Zapatero! <laughs> there you are! You're this young I've been hearing so much about! Not like I'm gonna spill the slop on thee, though. What be in there for me? Hey, papi! <laughs> so how about you die, fucker? Ow. Damn it! Wait! Antonio Zapatero! There's no way to stare at you over there! If you wanna know about this, Fucking investigation! Hand over your evidence! Whatever it is! I need it! Are you serious? <laughs> it's so silly! Then I'll just have to take it! By force! Hot beverage? If you really do know who he is, I'll. Oh. What? If I really know? You what? Young and ling a ding dong. What? Oh my god, this is so big. You'll get over it. Oh. Yeah, things just got serious. <sighs> All right. So it's All the right, baseball Zapatero. scene now. I'm knocking this one out of the park. All right, and that is Dark Dreams Don't Die. D4. June 5th. Uh, it's going to be pretty awesome, so uh, I guess thank you for watching. This has been pretty short, uh, but not that short, but short enough, you know. So, with that said, uh, that's pretty much everything that this demo had to offer. Um, there's just a bit more information, like you could get the backstory on some of the things and all that stuff, but that's in the demo, and if you want to download the demo, uh, I'm sure you can just search for it, D4 Demo. So, with that said, thank you for watching, and I hope you have a good day. Take care, and goodbye. Ta-ta. Bye-bye.